If your business struggles to make all of your social media posts on time, then this video is for you. I'm going to be showing you step by step how you can build an automated procedure using Airtable and Zapier to automatically post to social media pages of your choice. In this video, we're going to be using Facebook as the example, but you could easily use the exact same steps to post to practically any other social media account that Zapier has an integration with. So if that's of interest to you, let's get on into it. Hi, my name is Gareth Pronovost. I'm the owner of Gap Consulting, where we build automated solutions using Airtable and Zapier, along with other third-party softwares. In this video, as I mentioned, we're going to be showing you exactly how you can build uh, social media posting automation for your business. So without further ado, let's get on into it. So what we have here is our Airtable setup, and you see it's a pretty simple setup. We are looking at a post, and, and to be uh, transparent, we haven't even given it an official name, uh, which is totally fine. What we do need in terms of critical pieces of data for this to work, we need a published date and time, and we're gonna need a post message, and we need a URL. And so using those uh, three pieces of data, we're going to create a, a post on a schedule inside of our automation software. One other thing that I've included here though is the social media option. And inside the social media option, I've given us the ability to, to select what type of social media or social medias that this post is gonna be going to. Now the reason that this is valuable is we can create a unique view that is uh, specific to each social media account that we are potentially posting to. In this example, I've created a filter for the Facebook posts a view, and so anytime the social media includes Facebook, then that is uh, when we're going to get this information here. And so if we were to look at uh, any other uh, post that was not assigned to be put in Facebook, then that would not be showing up in this view. And so for that very reason, we're able to then know that only the, the uh, things that show up in this view are going to be uh, sent through on that zap. So let's take a look at what that automation looks like. So of course, uh, we'll need to have our Airtable account connected to Zapier, and also we'll need to connect our Facebook or whatever social media account we are using. Uh, the first step, of course, is the trigger, and the trigger is the, uh, the action that sets the entire automation into play. In this case, the trigger is a new record in that view inside of Airtable. And so what that means, again, if we drop, drop back into Airtable, we have separate views. And in this Facebook posts view, when a, new, uh, when a new item appears in this view, then that will trigger the automation. So ultimately what that means is once we have a new example and we've assigned it to Facebook, then that will appear in this view. And we'll go through that at the end. So for now, we're going to say that we set that, uh, that specific view. So that's why we use the new record in view trigger. So here we assign the base, in, that, in this case we've called this base social media. We don't have a table name, so the default name is table one. And then uh, we're looking at that specific view. Now the next step is a delay until, and this is something that's innately or inherently built inside of Zapier. And what we're going to do here is we're telling this uh, automation that we want to wait until the day and time that we've assigned the post to uh, here on, in our uh, database. So in this case, I've selected uh, you know, the, a random day and time, 325 and 10 a.m. And so we pass that data through here by connecting to the, uh, the right uh, published date time. That's the field that we pull from Airtable. And once we've done that, we can go ahead and test this. Let's go ahead and do that. So if I test this step, you see that it uh, pulls back the day in year-month-day, and then T1600, and if we send the, the test to Zapier, what we're looking at here is T1000, and this is uh, 10 a.m., and the minus six is actually my time zone. It is six hours in front of Greenwich Mean Time, or six hours before, and so that is pulling correctly. 10 a.m. Uh, uh, Mountain Standard Time, which is uh, my time zone, so that is perfect. So that delay is working. So what that means is when a new record appears, it will wait until this release time. 
and then it will continue the remaining steps in this automation. So the final step, the third and final step, is uh, associated with the, the post to the Facebook page. In this case, I tell it what page I want to uh, post this to. If you manage multiple pages, you'll have multiple options. Uh, in this case, I'm just posting it to our business you know, Facebook page. And here's where we bring in uh, the message. So we can bring in the post message that we found in step one. That's right here. Oop, don't want to bring it in twice. And then the last part, of course, is assigning a URL as well. And that's where uh, that URL comes in from step one. And I'll go ahead and continue. Let me drop into my Facebook page really quickly and show you what this looks like. You see the last post was actually made on March 11th. The whole reason for this video is because we forgot to post to Facebook last week, so we've had to create this automation for ourselves. So let's go ahead and push this automation and test it to see that it works right now. If I retest this step, I will do that right here. and send the test to the Facebook page. Drop into Facebook, let's refresh this and see if that automation comes through. And perfect, it did. So you see it was just published, published by Zapier, that's great. And uh, it even brought our hashtag in, which is awesome. And it's uh, given us the uh, URL that we assigned inside of this. So let's go ahead and test this from start to finish and make sure that it is completely working. We will create a new record here. So let's assign one for some random time in the future. We can write a message, even put a hashtag in there. Uh, when it comes to assigning a URL, let's go to our blog and just pick a random uh, URL that we might want to share. We'll take this one and I'll drop that into the Airtable base. So now we have all those data points that we require. The next and final step is to assign this to Facebook. Once we do that, it will appear in the Facebook posts view. There it is. And then we can test the automation. We're going to have to test it manually because we've, we have a, a delay inside of it. So let's go ahead and test each step manually. We will see more samples here. Take just a moment, get more samples, and here's the new sample. Let's open that up, make sure. Yep, that's the Facebook example message, the one we just did. We're going to continue. We can test the delay, and it should uh, test to the time that we specified, which was, I think, 9.26 or so in the morning on uh, March 27th. You see it right there. That looks great. Now, normally, the next step would not occur until that delay is met, but we're going to test it manually. So let's retest this step and drop over into our Facebook, and let's refresh this page to see if we get a new post. There it is. So Facebook example with the message, or the hashtag message, just as we put in our uh, in our little description there, and it's linked to the appropriate URL. If we click this, we should go to our blog. Let's just test that. Beautiful. So yeah, everything's working, looking great. All right, as always, I hope you found that to be super helpful. If you did, be sure to click subscribe and check out our other content here on YouTube, and also swing by our website and look at all the free resources we put together to help you get more efficient with Airtable and Zapier. And in the meantime, Best of luck as you continue to grow your empire.